ton of golf clubs over here and look at this Titleist staff bag. I think it's a demo one though. So I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna see a video of how much you're gonna sell these for. Probably. Well, they give them a lot of weight. All right, folks, welcome back. As you guys can see by the title and thumbnail of today's video, we are going pawn shopping for golf clubs, which is always a fun and interesting time. But before we get into today's video, I just want to give a special shout out, or I guess a shout, shout ba back. Yeah, a shout back. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to say, but that's what we're calling, that's it. What we're calling it to Rick Shields. He did a whole thrifting for golf clubs video at the Home of Golf in St. Andrews. Which is definitely on our bucket list. Yeah, that is a bucket list trip for sure. But he did a whole thrifting video and he said it was basically inspired by our videos and gave us a bunch of shout outs during the video. So thank you to Rick yeah. and his team for uh, giving us a shout out there. It's also really fun to watch someone who has access to literally whatever club he wants in the world get excited about like 30 year old golf clubs. Yeah, that was kind of funny. I thought we were the only geeks who geeked <laughs> yeah. out about that, but it was definitely fun to uh, watch. But we are going pawn shopping for golf clubs, always looking for golf clubs that we could use ourselves, sell to you guys for super cheap, or just have fun trying out and then uh, donate them back to a thrift store at the end. Yeah but uh, never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Also, we got our 80,000 subscriber giveaway happening yes. soon, but let's see if we can't find something good at the pawn shops today to maybe give away mm -hmm. for our big giveaway special. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, but let's see what we can <laughs> find at the uh, pawn shops today. Got some golf clubs. <laughs> Left-handed, what do we got going on here? Powerbuilt Citations, these things are some of the oldest clubs yes. I've ever seen at a uh, pawn shop. We got a hickory shafted Oh, that's a uh, Robert Tyre Jones Jr. Oh, that's cool. Bobby Jones. JC Higgins, 49 bucks. Those are super cool, but we are not left-handed. <laughs> and uh, I don't think we need any of these, but... No, I can't imagine hitting, like, left-handed blades. So left-handed blades would be a uh, fun challenge. I think they'll still be here the next time we come through here. So if you guys want to see a uh, lefty Very bladed challenge... Very challenge on yeah. our end. <laughs> wrists are definitely going to be feeling it. Oh, no, the golf set's only $10. Oh no, that's the... Oh, layaway. Yeah, my bad. Well, nothing in here for us, but we'll meet you the next spot. Uh -huh. Oh, we got some golf clubs over here. Fishing poles. Nothing worth picking up. And they like plastic uh, wrap their shoes. It's kind of cool. That's fun stuff, then. Got a Cleveland CG15. Is this eighty dollars for the entire thing? Mm. That's so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> we'll ask them if they can sell some of this stuff uh, individually. If there's anything cool in here, oh, we got a uh, title of cushion. Is it? Oh, it's laminate. It sounds like that one commercial where it's like just fourteen. Yeah, drivers. all you do is fourteen drivers. <laughs> oh, they got an old uh, chipper in here. <laughs> nice. What is that one? McGregor Jack Nicholas cool. chipper. Oh, we're definitely gonna ask them if they could uh, <laughs> sell something by itself. Funny thing is, I don't see a single power built in here. Yeah, exactly. And it's called Power Built. So maybe. Oh no, not. Northwestern, my bad. Yeah, there's Northwestern right here. Yeah, let's we'll see if we can't get the uh, Cleveland CG 15 this wedge in the chipper. <laughs> <laughs> Someone probably <laughs> bought them at the uh, thrift stores that didn't like them and threw them back in there. I do not like a chipper. <laughs> How's it going? Did you guys be one to sell just these two clothes? They don't really go with that set over there. How much? Uh, five bucks. A piece? Total? A piece. Uh, do five bucks a piece if you want to. Give you a ten out the door? Yeah. Cool. Ten bucks. All right, ended up getting the Cleveland CG15 wedge and the Jack Nicholas chipper to add to Ashley's ever growing and unlimited supply of uh, chippers. We just like collecting those, but yeah. uh, the Cleveland CG15 wedge is worth about $25, mm -hmm. and then the McGregor wedge is priceless. It is but priceless. We'll meet you at the next spot. How's it going? Hello. You guys got any other golf clubs or just that one? Just that one? <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> they literally use the uh, golf club to hold the gate open or close. But yeah. have you, comment below if you've ever seen a golden crust. It's like the uh, Jamaican beef patty yeah. package, and you see like the Dollar Tree and everything. That's why I saw them. that. Looks really familiar. I didn't know they had a restaurant. Yeah, is it open? I appear to be open. Let's go get some food. 
Golden Crust Caribbean restaurant of Bogey Bites. That's what we're gonna call our food channel. Bogey, don't steal it. Good, how are you? We got a ton of golf clubs over here, and look at this Titleist staff bag. I think it's a demo one, though. Yeah, trial set. That is really cool. Remember we found the old school uh, Ben Hogan one? Mm -hmm. That was uh, one of my favorite uh, finds ever. Let's see if there's any golf clubs worth picking up. Still got the uh, Nike CPRs. What else do we got over here? What did we pick up here last time? A Never Compromise putter, I think. Oh, that's right. We got an Odyssey 2-Ball SRT. You ever seen the 3-Ball? Yeah, it's intense. <laughs> yeah, it's like 29 bucks. She usually goes for about 40 or 50. Let's see if we can't uh, get a little bundle going. We got a uh, Hogan radial over here. Oh no, it's Hogan director. Plus a full set of those. I think it's just that one five iron. All the mixed clubs. Yeah, but we'll see what we can get for the uh, the Odyssey two ball. Mm -hmm. That title bag is so cool though. It's got a date when it got in here. Mm. 8, 3, 20, yeah, they're not gonna go down. The price has been in here for less than uh, less than two weeks. All right. Let's look at it, That's cool though, let's see what we can do for this uh, two ball though. How's it going? Good, how are you? Do you know what the best you can do on this? The best I can do is like 25, but it just came out. Can you do 25 out the door? Yeah. Cool. All right, ended up picking up the Odyssey 2-Ball SRT, and I looked it up while we were uh, checking out. Mm -hmm. I thought it would go for 40, but it looks like it's going for like 50 or 60, so even a better deal, we got it for $25 out the door. Yeah. Pretty sweet. We should find the 3-Ball one time and do a uh, <laughs> comparison. <laughs> the thing is gigantic. Yeah, it's like almost overwhelming, actually. Yeah, you could use it as like a murder weapon or something like that, but uh, we'll meet you at the next spot. Oh, there's golf clubs right here. 100 bucks, got some snake eyes. Sir? Are those the only golf clubs that you have? I think I have more over here. Okay. 600. 600. You know what the best you can do on that is? What would you offer? Probably like 200. Balls? Still got balls. Now the music's gone. <laughs> <laughs> See, just get a rangefinder there, that's worth 200. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, no, well, there's a rangefinder. <laughs> <laughs> Caught him on a good day. Okay. He said because he wants it out of here, and because we have other plants for this room, he'll do it for 300. It's a ball collector and dispenser. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's for like the range. That's kind of cool. So you'll push, you'll tap on the little pedal yeah. and it'll drop a ball. You throw that in? That too? I think it's only like 20 bucks. Have I seen you somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> you know what gave it away? <laughs> <laughs> 320. I'll do the whole thing. What do you guys do? Oh, we have a little YouTube channel. You YouTube. don't buy golf clubs. Yeah. Yeah. So we're on YouTube now? If you want to be. Sure. <laughs> Shout us out. Yeah. yeah. I watch you all the time. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah. You better believe it. It's an interesting how you really find some really nice clubs. Yeah. yeah. When we find the right. older, like, rare stuff. Yeah. Yep. yep. There we go. Yep. That's what you're saying. My That's face the is That's the two. Same <laughs> mask cover and hat. <laughs> as soon as I saw you, I was like, dang, she did. You can't tell. <laughs> she looks like the right. Yeah, yeah. When you put those two nice. together, it's hard yeah, to miss exactly. up. What's your name? I'm John. I'm Bri oh, Brian. Yep. That's Ashley. Ashley. I, I, wow, how are we? Ash, nice. <laughs> Double nice to meet you. I'm Brian, Brian too. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brian Elsler. <laughs> All right, I'll throw right, the cool. taxes in. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It's not every day you meet a YouTuber. It's <laughs> someone that's recognizable. Yeah. I mean, I recognize them immediately. I didn't think you were there is in this area though. We live over in Daytona, here. but we go everywhere. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah basically okay. it's just what the wind blows that's mm -hmm. yeah, which direction we go from here. Oh yeah. Jacksonville, yeah. Orlando. So I'm, gonna, oh, yeah. so I'm gonna see a video of how much you're gonna sell these for. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right folks, what a way to end the day there. Very interesting. Definitely end. a very interesting end, but we just got done trying everything out at the driving range. We'll throw up some shot tracers and some eBay comps to see if we got any good deals. But the uh, last deal, we'll show you the clubs here in a second. But basically, I think we'll have to explain how the uh, negotiation went down because the uh, music was super yeah, loud. Yeah, really, really loud. Yeah, really loud. So we'll have to like 
chop up the scene a bunch but basically we went in there and the first set that we saw was a hundred dollars mm -hmm. and i asked him if he had any others and he brought us into the uh, back room and he had this uh set sitting there for six hundred dollars yeah. and then i got a little aggressive with my uh, first yes, offer <laughs> and i thought he was going to uh laugh at us and then politely ask us to leave but he uh he was actually okay with the deal yeah. and so he went back and uh asked the guy in the back who prices the uh, golf clubs mm -hmm. and he said that he could do 300 for him and then i tried to get him to include the uh, callaway uh, pro picker thing <laughs> which i think we did get a good deal I think yeah. we got it for 20 bucks <laughs> yeah we got it definitely got a, a good deal for it and the funny part of the uh, whole negotiation <laughs> was there was somebody in there getting like their ring serviced at the pawn shop at mm -hmm. the exact same time and he recognized us and almost blew our cover <laughs> right in the middle of the uh, negotiation but it all ended up being oh, good yeah. we talked to them they for were a long super nice yeah we time. talked to them for like 20 minutes afterwards and it was definitely a fun time but uh, let's take a look at the clubs that we actually got that we spent three hundred and twenty dollars uh, out the door with mm -hmm. out the door basically means uh, no tax so if you guys hear us saying that i know we get Tax's a lot of questions included, so yeah. it's just that straight amount so, so we paid exactly three. yeah so if like you go up there and they agreed to three hundred dollars you're paying three hundred dollars in tax but if you ask for it out the door they'll include the tax in that price so it's yeah. always a little bit of a savings but uh, three hundred and twenty dollars we got the callaway pro picker thing and then we also got all of these clubs and these irons alone the r7 cgb max which we had never hit before no. those are absolutely those are like some of the longest irons that i have ever That's hit i don't think i've ever hit a seven iron that long yeah actually hit a seven <laughs> iron and probably went like 130 in the air and rolled out forever it was magical to yeah watch. and they also sound like metal woods not like regular iron That's so why, a very unique sound for sure definitely some of the longer irons that i have ever hit but those alone mm -hmm. go for 300 dollars so we we're super excited to get those that was foreign all the way down to the sand wedge yep. and then it also came there's a bunch of stuff in the bag which we'll show you here in a second yep. also came with a r11 driver a r7 st three and all right five and seven wood yep. and then it had the uh, tailor made rbz tour three hybrid and it came with a uh, odyssey white hot two ball putter this is the uh, mid one so like the belly one and they cut it down mm -hmm. so it's a little bit more upright and heavier than uh, normal but inside the bag there's also some goodies they have like the uh, there's uh, some tailor made or not tailor made some uh, adidas shoes in here you got a tailor made sldr tour tons preferred hat tons of tees and then there was a range finder <laughs> in there as well not a super expensive one it's a uh, nikon aculon i think is that how you say that I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll yeah, just go with go. that. But for uh, Ac uh, Nikon Acuron, it goes for about fifty or sixty dollars. But overall, a definitely a good deal there at the end. Tons of stuff in the bag, and three hundred and twenty dollars is definitely a good deal. We'll throw up all the eBay comps and everything like that. But you guys can probably see that is a good deal. But hopefully, you guys mm -hmm. did like this video. We had a ton of fun making it. But if you did like this uh, video, hit that like button, subscribe, and yeah, we'll see, you see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.